Well, it's time now for part three of our tiny house story. We ventured inside a tiny house owned by Sarah Moore. Here's her story. I guess it's just liberating to know that I don't have the logistics of doing whatever the heck I want to do are pretty simple, you know. I really like the process of having to focus on what is the most important. So having a small space and having to go through my things and choose the things that are most important has really helped me focus not just on like the most important things to keep, but also the most important things in my life and what my priorities are. You know, I end up accumulating a lot of stuff that I'll do later and I don't have room for that here. And so my life really stays on point and I feel like it really keeps me grounded in what I'm really wanting to be about. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's like shower tub. Yeah. Nice. So this is your, this is the master. Yeah. You know, I really, first and foremost, wanted to be portable. I've moved a lot. I got so tired of packing boxes. The, the idea of just being able to like, kind of batten down the hatches a little bit and go to a new place really appealed to me. The ecological footprint issue, having the opportunity to spend more time doing things other than cleaning my house and, um, reducing my bills, not having to take on a big mortgage. Really a lot of the, the things you hear a lot of people say about wanting to have tiny houses really appealed to me as I saw other people living in them and the, you know, on the internet and on TV. I just click the little things on the drawers so they don't fly open when I go down the road and I can go wherever I want to. 